sound is one of the most important parts of any movie or TV show. When done right, proper sound recording and mixing greatly contribute to the viewing experience. The Cinema Audio Society recently celebrated its 50th award gala, honoring the men and women that make movies come alive through sound. Teens Wanna Know was invited to cover the red carpet, where we had the chance to speak with a few of the nominees and guests. What are you most excited about for today's event? I'm excited to just see all the fancy people. Um, I work on a show called uh, Community, and um, you know we do a lot with bending genres, and we do themed episodes with uh, westerns and war, and um, you know sort of just crazy stuff. So our sound designers are pretty amazing. My name is David Fleur. I'm the president of the Cinema Audio Society, which is a group of sound mixers from all over the world. We have uh, almost 750 members worldwide. We have student members. We have associate members and we have full members that do actually all the voting for all of the categories that are going to win awards tonight. So what was your role in this movie? I was the production sound mixer. I'm the guy on the set that records the actors and the effects as they're happening on set in front of the camera. And now, you've been nominated tonight. What tips or tricks do you have for um, teenagers who want to get into the same profession as you? Uh, work hard, try to find good opportunities, look for other businesses as well because this is a hard business to, to get into and a really hard business to get out of. I, I've enjoyed it for a long time, but it's a challenge. So what are you most excited about for today's event? Oh man, um, you know, honestly just to get all dolled up and find an excuse to go out. Uh, <laughs> Um, but, you know, like everybody else, I love the Oscars, and this is just a great way to kind of prep and get in the mood for it. Out of all the movies you've ever seen, which movie sound or music has impacted you the most? Godfather. Bar none, period. Just put a blank on it. And, and also going with the win. Hi, right, we're here with Greg Orloff. Oscar and CAS nominee. You are correct, sir. So could you tell us about your part in the film? Uh, yeah, did the uh, one of the two re-recording mixers, myself and Skip Livesay, who's actually also nominated for Gravity, uh, and I think he's probably going to win, but that's but that's okay. Um, so anyway, and then uh, we have another, uh, the production mixer, Peter Curlin. So it was a great job. This is my ninth Coen Brothers film uh, in a row, so I'm very fortunate to uh, to work with them and and really. I love working for them. I uh, hope they keep hiring me. And now it's time for our time machine question. Oh. If you could go into a time machine okay. and tell Are one piece of sound effects for this? <laughs> Uh, if you could go into a time machine sure. and tell one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Oh, don't do drugs. <laughs> that would be that would be the biggest one. And it's an honest one, but yeah, that would be the one. The one piece of advice is to follow your dream. I mean, I did. So I kind of followed my own advice. I found my own path. But it would also be maybe I don't know as much as I did or I thought I did when I was maybe 16. So where about our viewers recognize you from? Um, I had a good spin on the Carrie Diaries as the younger sister's boyfriend, sweetest girl uh, Stefania Owen, and uh, currently on MTV's Awkward. So what's your favorite part about working on Awkward? Uh, probably my relationship with the writers, just because they created the characters that me and my best friend are playing on the show from people they knew. And so it's a really cool relationship. They're always just writing funny stuff for us to do, mucking around. We can throw ideas at them. And uh, it's, it's just, it's great. You never get that on set. How has your life changed since The X Factor? Um, it was amazing. I gained um, the most supportive, amazing fan base, which I call Levi Nation. And since then, I've been working so hard. And um, I released a song on Valentine's Day, which was so awesome for all the single people. And um, I'm going to um, overseas to UK and Brazil and Australia in March and April and so everything it just it, it was it was a change for my career and for my life which was amazing sweet and now which movies sound or music has impacted your life um, I'd have to say the Hunger Games uh -huh. um, I love the soundtrack and I love Jennifer Lawrence um, because she's my celebrity crush so could you sing something for us sure can I take the mic yeah go ahead. temporarily yeah, go ahead. okay <laughs> oh, 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 I'm right here Go. Do you love me? Oh, 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 oh. Don't you 
don't you know I can't breathe I'm trying to find you trying to find you trying to find you Whoa. what movies music or sound has impacted you Oh, wow, what a great question. Um, you know, I just saw 12 Years a Slave, and I just for some reason remember that, and Gravity, because you know, they're sending everybody screeners these years. And those two in particular, I remember sitting through um, Gravity, and instantly I was just hit with how delicately they managed to capture this, this, the powerful depth of nothingness in space, yeah. you know? It was really, it's really incredible. And now it's time for our time machine question. Okay. If you could step into a time machine and tell your teen self one piece of advice, oh. what would it be? It's gonna be okay. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Hey, I'm Bethany Joy Lenz, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Hey, it's Evan Crooks, and you are watching Teens Wanna Know. Merger Grigo, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. I'm Josh Levi, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. My name is Evan Crooks, and you're watching Teens.